another episode of Amusement Adventures, the series where I document my day at a park, reviewing the rides I rode, the food I ate, and even the journey to get there. I will cover it all. And in this chilling Halloween episode, I, along with my good friend Cosmic, are journeying to the wonderful Not Scary Farm for an evening of frights and scares. But before I could be scared witless in the fog, I needed to roll out of bed and get ready for the amazing day that was to come. After getting out of bed, I did what I always do and took a shower. And of course brush my teeth. Then all I had to do was slip on my sandals and step outside. It's just concrete. Just a, just a concrete bag down here. What a gorgeous day outside today. After meeting up with Cosmic, we got into his car, Optima Prime. We're here today in Optima Prime! Whoa! What was that? I, I don't know. We should, we should go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stopped at Starbucks. Listening to Lateral episode, Mr. Killgun Die. Oh, Mr. So Killgun Die. Ma died suddenly. What? And before long, we could see knots peeking over the horizon. We were excited to enter the fog. However, we were actually going to Spooky Farm during the day, as well as Scary Farm at night, so we would have to wait for the fog. After exiting the car, we walked up to the park to enjoy a great day of coasters before the scares roll in. All I can think about is someone buying a ticket to Knott's Berry Farm just, just to use, use the, the restroom, restroom and then walk yeah. out and leave. Yeah, the, like, the funny thing is that the there road. are literally restrooms like outside the park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So that's our cold open here to be at Knott's talking about. Bathroom We're here. Is. We are going to start the day with Silver Bullet because Ghost Rider is closed at the moment. Uh, it was running when we got here, but um, I think it just, I think it just uh, shut down due to some sort of some. I'm hoping it'll be back up today, but we will see. This guy's, look at this, this guy. guy. Look at this guy, dude. Looks like Bill Clinton. He's got Starting the day off with Silver Bullet. Very fun ride, very fun ride. Um, so, yep, so, yep, yep, yep. Silver Bullet was good as always, but not as good as this water. It's, water. it's looking absolutely delicious. That's Honestly, really it's yummy. looking scrum diddly take a, umptious. Take a little, take a little I wanna sip. absolutely slurp take that water, sh- absolutely. Sip, I think we're gonna do Halloween Hoot Nanny next, uh, Super Mountain Log Rides Halloween Overlay. Um, I think this is probably one of my favorite Halloween overlays on any ride. Um, I, I do like the Haunted Mansion one at Disneyland, it's fine. But uh, this one, I, I really like this ride. So Dude, I think we're, we're gonna do that to, next. We're about to hoot some nannies over here, bro. Yeah, hoots and nannies. That's hoots pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, we got both. So we got grandmas and we got little owls. So that's pretty cool. Little Halloween hoot nannies. Very good um, Halloween overlayer. Uh, very fun. Not as many nannies and little owls as I was expecting. Yeah, there wasn't, there wasn't a, any hoot, hoot nannies. There wasn't any hoots or nannies, but it was pretty cool. Um, yeah. Guys, look, it's Jimothy. Jimothy, bro, grab me a bro. Yo, Jimothy dapped him up. Hi, Jimothy. I think we're gonna do, um... Hang time. Hang time. Next. Dude, speaking of hang time, look at that fella. Dude, he's hanging. He is hanging. Look at that little... Look at that little guy. Is that me? <laughs> what? <laughs> hang time was great. Um, I saw people on Ghost Rider, uh, so we are going there right now. Before it closes. Again, maybe, hopefully not. Fingers crossed. I probably just jinxed us. I can't talk. It's fine. Guys, we found the hoot. We found the little owl, sadly it perished, but now we gotta find the nanny. Yeah, Better yeah. have the same fate because of how old she was. Are you the nanny? No, it's that one back there looking in the chair. Oh, maybe. Well, it look, might be a guy. Are you the nanny? You can tell that's a woman. Yeah, you're the nanny. <laughs> yeah, I see you nodding your head. Oh, boy. Ah, hands up. Don't shoot. <laughs> Sewer slide. Why not? 
got food from the Chipotle ripoff. It's banging. I didn't get anything because I'm not hungry. Uh, so, so far we uh, have ridden Ghost Rider again and Silver Bullet again. Um, great rides. Uh, right now we're just chilling in the Grizzly Creek Lodge. I needed some water. I was a little hot. Um, and I haven't had any water all day, so I needed to get some water. So, yummy. None came out. It's empty. Minecraft horse. We just did Sierra Sidewinder. Now we are in my personal favorite queue in the park for Calico River Rapids. Absolutely love this ride. One of my favorites. It is my favorite Rapids ride, personally. I absolutely adore it. It's awesome. Um, highly recommend. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing at the moment. My shoes are absolutely flopping and untied. They just tend to do that. It's bizarre. This is why I don't wear, this is why I do not wear shoes. I only ever wear sandals, but my sandals are broken, so. Lame. Calico River Rapids, what a joy. That was a lot of fun. Um, I love that rapids. I didn't get too wet, but uh, guys, we got wet socks. I got wet socks. So <laughs> that sucks for him. Uh, but I thought it was. I thought it was a lot of fun. Love that ride always. Uh, still my favorite rapids ride. Uh, I don't care that it doesn't. I don't care that it doesn't have a drop uh, because um, there's zero line. Yeah. Even if even if it um even if it did have a drop and it was like Mystic River Falls, which the elevator lift that goes to the drop causes it to break down every like five minutes. So. It's better, I think, that it doesn't have a drop. The theming absolutely makes up for it. And even though it said it was supposed to be closed today, Pony Express is in fact open, so that's pretty cool. So we're actually gonna hop on that. Pony Express is great, uh, very fun ride. Going on Ghost Rider again, because just can't resist. This is my absolute favorite coaster. Probably always will be. Uh, love this thing to bits, so we're going on it again, because why not? We're back at Grizzly Lodge. We got some food. This is kind of our favorite place today, huh? It's absolutely, look at that. Look at that, that's what you call a disgrace to all Italians. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, you won't believe it. We found a live hoot. A live hoot, not just a dead one. But we still haven't found a nanny. We still need to find a nanny, don't we? Still need to find a nanny. Yeah. Uh, this tree's name is Steblini. Yeah, the, the top half of this tree is real. The bottom half is definitely Oh, fake. that's really cool. Love that. Love those type of effects. No, you, you and that's it for Knott's Berry Farm for the day. It was a lot of fun. Um, we're back in the car, ready to go. Just kidding. The fun's only about to begin. We're about to go right back into the park for uh, some monsters. Wow. As we stepped out of the car and walked toward the entrance of the park, we could feel the foreboding vibe grow. Walking into the park right now. Can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun. And pretty soon, we had entered the park itself. And we are in. It's gonna start soon. You've never been before. I've never been to Nascar. It's so much fun. You're gonna love it. It's awesome. We got the, the fellas. Personally, I think that one's name is uh, uh, Steve, Steve, Stephen. Stephen on. I think you. I think Finny. Uh, so, so we, yeah, Herodox? Finny, Finny, Her Her Herodox, yeah. yeah and then um. And then, uh, what's that guy's name? I feel like his name should be like Smitty. Smitty? Yeah, Smitty. So it's like Smitty, Smitty, Finny, and Herodox. Yes, Smitty, Finny, and Herodox right down the center. Look at this absolute gentleman. And after we said hi to our skeleton friends, we walked into the packed crowd to watch the opening ceremony. Oh god. It's the scariest thing in the whole park. California. It's, it's the flag of California. Oh no. Gavin Newsom is coming for us all. Infidels! Did you think I would forgive you after 50 years? They thought they could contain my wicked ways. Today, I shall cast a new curse for all to pay. Before we knew it, all the monsters were unleashed and we walked into the fog. Ghost Town Streets is truly an amazing scare zone. If you want to know my full thoughts on it, make sure to watch last year's Scary Farm video. And that goes for every scare zone and maze that is returning this year from last year. 
After entering the fog, we headed straight for what was my favorite maze last year, Origins Curse of Calico, and it was absolutely stellar. We then headed across the midway for another favorite maze from last year, the Grimoire. Then we snaked our way to the wonderful Goring 20 Scare Zone for the all-new maze that is finally giving the Goring 20s the much-needed maze that it deserves, Room 13. Drivers in LA be like? I want what that guy's having. Looks yummy. Origins and Grimoire are both absolutely fantastic. Now we are in line for the new maze, Room 13, over here in the Goring 20s. Uh, I'm really stoked for this maze. From what I've seen, it's looked really cool, so I cannot wait to go inside. It looks awesome. Room 13 is an incredible maze. It's atmospheric and really fits the Goring 20s look. I really enjoy the entry room with the blind tiger speakeasy. One thing I could say about this maze, it is a bit repetitive, where you do keep walking through pretty similar hotel rooms, but they each do have something a little bit different to offer. Like one has this, um, crazy lady, what is she doing? I also really like the lobby set piece at the beginning of this maze. It's colorful and it's bigger than you would expect, but the real showstopper is the boiler room. Hidden in room 13 itself, it is the place where they are crafting the devil's elixir, the thing that has been causing all this trouble throughout the Goring 20s. This set piece is unbelievable, it's huge, and the statue spewing the elixir out of its mouth is horrific, and the green lighting just makes it even more atmospheric. It's honestly just also so incredibly impressive how they managed to fit this maze behind the arcade. This maze is so much fun. It gives the Goring 20s the maze it truly deserves, and it's really atmospheric. Overall, I think Room 13 deserves a 8 out of 10. After our visit to Room 13, Cosmic and I walked through the Carnival Scare Zone to do some more rides and mazes. Their like isn't aligned, so we're gonna take a ride on Hangtime with this absolute magnificent light package. It's absolutely great. Shout out KCL, you guys did a great job. Uh, they always do good with uh, lighting packages. They have a great lighting package on Monster at Adventureland in Iowa. They usually do Girls Flowers, but you know, they've done a few others. But yeah, we're about to take a ride. We're gonna bow to the so, what's your favorite maze right now, Cosmic? First time ever going to Scary Farms. What's uh, at the moment your favorite that, maze? That first one. Origins Curse Origins, of Calico. Amazing. Is, is absolutely Dude, fantastic. That was a jump scare and a half. It like, actually someone, was. Someone moved the pole. I know. It wasn't, it wasn't us. It definitely wasn't us. Um, whoever did, it was probably a ghost, to be honest. Yeah. That's my guess. Um, is that a, it was a ghost? It was a goblin ghoul. It was a goblin ghoul. Um, I agree. I think Origins is absolutely fantastic. I love Mesmer, though. I love the Grimoire. I thought Room 13 was friggin' awesome. Uh, it's, it's just a Origins great event. It's just so good. It's, yeah, it's so good. I mean, we might have to try to do it again, maybe. I don't know. But it's just so, so well done. Uh, I think we're going to try to do Cinema Slasher next. But the night was just beginning, and we would have many more mazes to come. And the next one that we would visit would be in the old Ghoul Time Theater. That maze, Cinema Slasher. This maze is truly spectacular. The concept for the maze is that there is a theater showing three back-to-back -back slasher movies starring the slasher in the dark. However, the theater burned down years ago and is now haunted and bringing the movies to life. Each of these three films is actually a reference to a previous Scary Farm maze slash attraction. There is Trick or Treat, which was a Scary Farm maze a few years back, Camp Gonna Get Ya, which at one point was an overlay for the Timber Mountain Log Ride, and Slaughterhouse, another old maze. The first room in the maze is the theater lobby, which looks normal until the lights go out and the black lights come on, revealing the hidden evil underneath. This is such a cool effect. It's unbelievably simple, yet insanely effective. The trick-or-treat section is fun. There are some good scares, but where the maze really gets good is the camp gonna get you section. It is filled to the brim with details and has this amazing forest vibe. The boat on the lake room is amazing. I always love these statement rooms in each of the mazes. The whole woodsy feel of the section is awesome, and this part of the maze is for sure my favorite. Next up is Slaughterhouse. As the name suggests, it is probably the most brutal section of the maze. There are some absolutely horrific set pieces in here. 
The best part of this section, though, is definitely the chainsaw room. The chainsaw is so comically huge, and I absolutely love it. Once Slaughterhouse is over, you finally exit the films, and in the back there is an absolutely awesome skull animatronic projector, with film wrapped around its head and a projector for an eye. This is one of the coolest things I have ever seen in a scary farm maze. Overall, this maze is amazing. The concept is outstanding, and I love how they execute literally walking into the films. It is so cool. I think this maze absolutely deserves a 9 out of 10. Cinema Slasher is awesome. I really like the Camp Gonna Get You section. If you like to have anything take place in the woods, I'm gonna fall in love with it. I love the woods. The woods are awesome. The woods are spooky, but they're also super fun. It, I just love it. Um, so the Camp Gonna Get You part was definitely my favorite part. I also really freaking liked the skull projector. I thought that was sick. After Cinema Slasher, Cosmic and I headed toward the mazes back over by Ghost Rider, but in order to get there, we had to walk through the brand new scare zone for this year. The gauntlet. The gauntlet is actually a returning scare zone. It was a scare zone for many years at Scary Farm uh, many years back. It's medieval themed and it's over in Camp Snoopy. This scare zone replaced the hollow, and honestly, I think I preferred the hollow. It was more atmospheric, Halloween y, and had better props. I also think it fits the Camp Snoopy area better. The gauntlet is still fun, and the characters are awesome. I just like the overall feel of the hollow better. I think Gauntlet gets a 7 out of 10 as a scare zone. After briefly passing through the Gauntlet, we walked over toward Ghost Rider, past Ghost Town Streets, and down into what is normally backstage area to do some more mazes. Waxworks is a whole lot of fun. I really like Waxworks a lot. Um, yeah, I know, Waxworks is awesome. Uh, really love that maze. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's always nice, Thank oh, you. Uh, from Ghost Rider. Uh, it's always nice seeing little Benny boy in there, Mr. Benjamin Franklin. Uh, I did Mr. say Benjamin Franklin, bro. Mr. 100, it's Mr. always nice seeing, it's always nice seeing him. Uh, you know, that's always sweet. I think we're gonna do the depths next, so yeah. So we just got done with, uh, Bloodline, uh, the depths, and, uh, Dark Entities. Uh, anyway, what I was going to say is Dark Entities is awesome. It's so cool. Uh, it is um, definitely on its last leg though. There wasn't that many scare actors in there and you can tell it's aging. It's time for it to sort of, I think, be ushered out. Um, the Depths, however, I think is underrated. I love the Depths. It's super cool. I love the fog effect. Uh, people saying it's time for it to go. I don't think it's time for it to go. I think it can stay another year. Um, but if it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't. Bloodline, also really cool. I think it's better without the guns this year than it was last year with the guns. I think you can actually appreciate the sets more and appreciate the scares more without the guns. And after we had those mazes wrapped up, we headed back over toward the gauntlet to get on our last new maze for the night. The true 50th anniversary maze that's new for this year. That maze, the Chilling Chambers. The storyline for Chilling Chambers is that you're walking into the crypt of the Keeper, a man who has been collecting artifacts from Scary Farm's past throughout its 50 years, and he will now be taken through his Chilling Chambers to experience the many horrors of Scary Farm's past. The Keeper is based off the real-life Sinister Seymour, the man who was the host for Scary Farm in its early years, and a large reason why it exists in the first place. This maze is really cool. Each chamber is is unique and a nice nod to a previous Scary Farm attraction. It's also so long. This maze feels like it keeps going on forever. There is so much in here. Since I have only been going to Scary Farm for the past two years, a lot of the easter eggs flew over my head. But I know they were everywhere. The last chamber was definitely my favorite. The woodsy vibe was awesome and the giant bush monster was so cool. Overall, I think the Chilling Chambers is a fantastic addition to the event, and an amazing way to pay tribute to the past. Chilling Chambers gets an easy 9 out of 10. And with that, my face still shattered in darkness, that was Chilling Chambers. Uh, Chilling Chambers was awesome. Uh, yeah, no, I thought that was absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, I was, I was walking through, it had a bunch of references to past mazes, a lot, all, all of which I had never been in. But it was still cool to see Easter eggs, it was really neat. So, yeah, that was that was really awesome. That was really cool. Uh, that completes all the mazes for us tonight. Um, we might, and I'm in the fog, we might do some 
double ups on some mazes, maybe, but for now we're gonna go get some food, because I'm hungry. You know these clowns, these clowns, they're scary. They're terrifying. They're scary, but there's something scarier in this area. There's something scarier than you guys. It's the shin guards on Coast Rider. And with that, we had completed all the mazes at Scary Farm. We spent the rest of the evening getting dinner at Johnny Rockets, redoing what is still my favorite maze at the event, Origins, and getting two rides on Ghost Rider, which were absolutely legendary. That is probably the best ride on Ghost Rider I've ever had. Like, period. I didn't think, like, a regular night ride versus Scary Farm night ride could be that much of a difference, but I think the biggest difference it makes is that it's just so much later, and it's been running for so much longer, so it's warming up so much. And it, that was so fast. That I've never seen that thing run that fast. That was incredible. <laughs> Absolutely worth the hype. And after our final ride on Ghost Rider, we exited the park, knowing we had an amazing evening of terrifying frights. And that does it for our night on Scary Farm. That's two rides on Ghost Rider. They were both very good. Uh, second one, I waited, we waited a little longer than I thought it would. It was a little, it was a little much, but we're out now. Um, maybe. The crowds have beaten us a little bit, so getting out of the parking lot won't be a mess, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, definitely gonna come back next year. I love this event, it's awesome. So yeah, nothing but, nothing but praise. Absolutely loved it. Thank you all so much for watching this Halloween special of Amusement Adventures. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe, because I have plenty more amazing coaster content on the way. But until then, I hope you guys all have an absolutely wonderful Halloween. I'll see you all next time. Bye now.